my microphone wasn't even on, so that was way more impressive. Uh, ladies and gentlemen in the crowd, if you have been supporting the Mark Hughes Foundation tonight, can I get a little whoop whoop? <laughs> Alrighty, if you purchased a lucky number in our beer card raffle, these lucky lads over here, and of course they're lucky because we're their wives, uh, they are about to draw the lucky numbers for who wins beers. I feel like beers for brain cancer okay. has a really good ring to it. We're waiting, it's running around, and if you are number 100. Oh, ho, ho. Aaron Fallen. Aaron Fallen. Aaron. I'm pretty sure Natasha will drink those beers. Where is she? Here, I heard ah. her. She's on. Oh, wrong Natasha, no, Fallen. Hang on. He's upstairs. Right. We know who he is. He wins the prize. He wins, he wins the prize. Well oh, done. Right. Big round of applause. Boys and girls, this evening and all weekend, we are going to continue to sell lucky numbers. It is $2 a ticket. $2 a ticket. It's a lucky number and we're giving out 10 schooners. So who's not going to drink beer this weekend? Right. Who is going to drink beer this weekend? Yeah. Buy our ticket. All right. We're raising money for the Mark Hughes Foundation. And now your attention by giving away free beer we're going to get to this serious bit just for a really 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 little minute and my friend Dave and my friend Carly and my friend Therese are going to talk to us about this horrible disease and what we can do to help and we love that he's got his Dalmatian hair on because okay. you can't be a fish you can be a puppy for, for, that, for those of you no, 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 no. For those of you who don't know, I have a brain tumour. I got it about uh, two and a half years ago. Um, I've had one operation already. Uh, they, they cut it out there and then things are going pretty well and then it grew back and then I'm back on the, um, the radiation and the chemo again. So I don't know how long I've got, but I'm hanging on as long as I can. And it's because of Mark Hughes and his foundation um, not, not so long ago, people used to have to go to Sydney. I live on the central coast there, and we had to go all the way to Sydney to do our... Um, uh, treatment. treatment. Thank you. That's a bit that's not working. And uh, because of Mark Hughes and his foundation, I no longer have, I no longer have to go to Sydney. And he, oh, yeah, and thank you to Mark Hughes. So and it's I'm gonna... very important that you don't have to go to uh, Sydney because just at the minute, Prousty's not driving and Teresa's doing all the driving and Prousty's having some trouble with the maps. So they thought that they were going on a Kentucky tour this weekend and they ended up at Mullet Fest because Therese was the navigator. So, yeah, you know, how lucky is that? Just to let you know, I, I'm not allowed to drive anymore. My wife has, has to drive me everywhere and we, we've got the caravan. So, you know, it, whilst I look like I'm going okay, I, I, she has to do everything for me. She's my carer virtually. So it's very hard. It's not only, I'm going, I'm going really well. There's a lot of people doing a lot worse than me. So anyway, we're going to move it up to, um, who are you going to speak to here? Alrighty, so we are just going to talk very, very quickly about why this is the Matt Foster Rookie Memorial. So my beautiful friend Carly and her amazing husband, Matthew, were here with me every step of making Mullet Fest. And what good friends do is that they're there for each other. And when we went, we want to create something amazing, Maddie went, Laura, you're an idiot. I'm there for sure, because I want to laugh at you. And laugh at me, he did. And so for our first ever Rookie Mullet, Matthew was here with us. And we got some beautiful photos and some beautiful memories. And those brain cancer nurses are just amazing. So please, everyone, we did not charge you spectator tickets tonight. We did not charge you to get in the door. You're getting this amazing show and this amazing weekend. Put your money in those buckets. We are sending every single cent from tonight straight to the Mark Hughes Foundation so we can continue that great work. And we are very soon going to announce the winner of the Matt Foster Memorial Rookie Mullet of the Year. Alrighty, so have I got all my rookie mullets down here? Are you all close? Because it would be really embarrassing if we call out the winner and you're not here. Alright. Now, do we want to do like a um, some highly commended? Absolutely. I feel like we can milk it and we can do some highly commended. So, um, merch team, 
Let's I'm going to need what is the gift that we could give a highly commended? Maybe a stubby holder or a hat or something. Yep, great. Bring them up. We need two. All right, so we have some highly commended. And yes. Am I, oh no, there's still kids here. I can't say boobs so, yet. So unfortunately, there were a few people who swore, and we told you no swearing. Even though you were funny, we don't like the swearing in front of the cameras, okay? So, um,. Oh, we're going to ask um, Laura, you're right. highly amended. Highly amended? All right. She is actually. No, what's the word? Highly. It's commended. Commended, thank yeah. you. That's fine though, because I feel like if you knew what went into getting this ready for today, some things have been amended. <laughs> we're starting at the top, there's quite a bit, and it's not just the mullet. Oh. Right. Highly commended, number one, we are looking for you, Jake Madden. Jake Madden! Here it is. Did you uh, think you would be up here tonight, uh, mister? Dad's little boy! Dad's little boy! <laughs> it's a mullet family. We have two uh, brothers and a dad. This is a less than two years mullet inspired by his twin brother. Well done, my friend. Uh, next in second place, highly commended here this evening, we have our international traveller, Claudio, with his oh, yeah. banging Aussie mullet. Oh. It's daytime, so take your sunnies off. Oh, it's daytime. Leave them on. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, don't forget, we did let you know this man is from Switzerland and he is single and now he is rocking an amazing Australian rookie mullet. Thank you very much. All right, without any further ado, let's get our winner up here. Where are you, Miss Megan? Megan! Mum and Dad. Dad for the curly hair, because I feel like maybe that pushed me over the mark. Maybe the curly hair. <laughs> Mum for my frizzy hair, and Jimmy for helping me out with the support tonight. She's been amazing. And yeah, I'm just really, I'm actually really excited. So and, do you and, feel and, like for the first time in your life you were early, and now you've got the prize? Do you think they're linked? Maybe. Is organisation something that's really important in a mullet? No. No. <laughs> and I love it. It's an, I've met so many nice people tonight. I've had a great time, a bit lost for words. The adrenaline's up, I didn't expect this, so I'm very, very excited. And thank you everyone for coming. It's been a great night and I can't wait for tomorrow night. It's gonna be massive. Cue the music, Mr. D. And before you, and what about the uh, Mark Hughes Foundation? Yes, and the Mark Hughes Foundation has offered charity a good cause and I'm glad to be here and support it. And thanks everyone for turning up and go the mullets!
giving back more than you take. It's helping out, help your mate.